ReluxCAD for Revit. Welcome to the tutorial Overview of ReluxCAD for Revit version 2017.1. This add-on is suitable for Revit 2016 and later versions. It contains both free and payable functions. Let's start with the free functions. By accessing ReluxNet you can find product data from 100 leading European manufacturers. For security reasons, only products from ReluxNet are allowed in the add-on at the moment. To access this product data and benefit from further advantages, you need to have a free account. Set up your free account and save the login data in the add-on settings. You can now start your product selection. Filter options make it easy to search all the different companies at once. The family files are loaded with a command Open in Revit. You will find more information on ReluxNet in the tutorials at relux.com. We'll now close the dialog and load a Revit sample project with a number of luminaires from ReluxNet. Each product is given a successive type designation. The first number stands for the type and the second number for the type variant. Products with variants have a variant tree. The effects of a variant are even clearer in the configurator. The configurator shows important lighting engineering properties in a clear and readily comprehensible manner. Our sample product comes in several different variants. As we can see, variants can have different light distribution curves and light fluxes and have a major influence on lighting planning. In our example, we have selected variant number 5 as the standard setting. Let's place a couple of these products on the ceiling plan and a standard lamp on the floor of a room. We'll allocate a different variant to one of the recessed luminaires that we have positioned. To do this, we'll have to select it and call up the configurator. We'll allocate variant 3. The new variant number appears on the floor plan as confirmation. We'll then take a look at the 2D symbols. Standard symbols exist for different luminar geometries and positioning types. The degree of detail in Revit can be set in the visualization. We can choose between a symbol-based presentation or the real 3D geometry of the products. In the 3D view, it is best to use the real 3D geometry. What has already been installed overall? The utilization list shows which products and the variants are to be installed in the building. The parts list shows the quantities and is useful for tenders, etc. The room manager lists all the rooms of a building. We can now allocate nominal values and potential luminar types to these rooms and calculate the required number. First of all, a filter helps us find similar rooms in the building so we can allocate the nominal values to them. We can see the marked rooms in the background. After this, we allocate the rooms a desired nominal value. Country-specific standards are available to choose from. 
A favorites list helps us to rapidly access frequently used standards. We allocate a luminar type to the marked rooms. In our example, this is type 1.1. There are now two different modes. Fully automatic mode calculates and positions luminaires automatically for all the marked rooms on the basis of the nominal values. On the right of the picture, we can see now how one room after the other is given the correct number of luminaires. We then opt for the semi-automatic mode. To do this, we set a filter on electrical rooms and allocate the nominal values and luminaire type once again. In semi-automatic mode, we can intervene manually in each room. With the allocate command, the luminaires are then put in position and with the next room command, we proceed with the second room, etc. If necessary, a specific luminar type can be allocated to each room. The functions are also available for individually selected rooms. We mark one or more rooms, allocate nominal values to them and start the zonal cavity method for calculating and positioning them. A further function, Family Parameters, compiles product parameters in copy format if required. Together with the manufacturers, the product databases are being constantly extended so as to allow for further country-specific standards in the future. Take a look at the new tutorials and give us your feedback. Details of what we are already working on are posted on our website. We hope you enjoy working with ReluxCAD for Revit.